गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर भारती कौशिक एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एंड हेड डी आई सी टी वेलकम्स यू ऑल इन दिस ओरिएंटेशन सेशन फॉर प्रशस्त विच इज अ प्री असेसमेंट होलिस्टिक स्क्रीनिंग फॉर स्कूल्स एंड टूडे ज्वाइंट विद मी इन दिस सेशन इज मिस्टर ओम नारायण सिंह हु इज अ सीनियर टेक्निकल कंसल्टेंट इन सी आई ई टी सो फ्रेंड्स thank you very much for joining us today in this orientation program and without wasting much time since we have to cover a lot of content let's directly go to the presentation so as you might be aware that prashast prashast is what i just now said that prashast is pre assessment holistic screening for schools for listing short listing the children who may have tentative disability conditions at the school level so um technical team can share the ppt yes so now the next slide the icon on the screen is the icon that you can find on the android play store and um, yes this is the icon a uh, person on the wheelchair this icon you can find in android play store because precious is available in the format of android app so once you download precious then you may have few questions in your mind ki what is universal screening and what is the present context and why we need this screening tool so universal screening is basically a systematic assessment of all the students for their strengths weaknesses their talents their their special needs and it is a first step towards formal identification and certification the present context for precious is after rpwd act 2016 we are now india as a nation working for 21 disability conditions and it would be really inhuman to expect that any one person would be well versed with all the 21 disability conditions along with their minor and major symptoms so we thought of devising a tool which will help our school teachers irrespective of their familiarity with disability irrespective of their some training with the disability and disease conditions this tool will help the teachers both special and the regular teachers in conducting screening at the school level so now this is a glimpse of all the 21 disability conditions that are identified in rpwd act 2016 and precious takes care of all these 21 disability conditions in one screening checklist now once you have downloaded the precious app what you are supposed to do After downloading the precious app three categories of stakeholders can participate in the precious functioning first one are the teachers what the teachers can do now when i'm saying teachers i mean the teachers who are the regular teachers the teachers who are engaged in transaction of curricular areas say language mathematics evs and other subjects as well computers co curricular activities all the curricular areas the teachers are transacting these are the teachers who are supposed to create an account on precious and after creating an account on precious this needs to be verified by the principal and what is the role of the teachers they have to fill part one of the survey the part one of the survey has 63 statements and i'll be giving the detail of each task that needs to be done by the teachers the principals and the special educators so now once the teachers as a teacher you have to download the precious app create an account and get your account verified by the principal and so that you can start filling the survey now the same fashion the special educator also needs to download create an account and get it verified by the principal now for special educators they are associated with more than one school so they have to get themselves verified with all the school principals with whom they are associated or they are attached with then as a principal you have to create an account and you have to use the email id 
that has been linked with the school's UDIS code. This means when you have registered your school on the UDIS portal, at that time you must have given an email ID at the portal. That same ID needs to be used while working as a principal on the Precious app. Once you verify yourself as a principal using the UDIS code, then your next step as a principal or head of the school is to verify the special educators and the teachers. All this will come on the Precious app. The screen that will be used, I'll just come to that in a moment. Now, UDIS code. UDIS code is an 11-digit numerical variable code which... First four digits represent district, second two digits for block, the three digits for villages and two digits for school. Then this is the landing page of the precious. The extreme right screen shows the icon when you, uh, when you are on the play store and you are trying to locate precious. So this is how the screen will appear on your mobile. Middle pages, once you have installed and opened the Precious app, this is how it will appear. And the extreme right shows the Precious login registered as new user. This is the landing page of the Precious. Let's move ahead. And as you can see from the, uh, the landing page, which is available on the extreme left also, you can find Precious FAQs right at the beginning and you can also download Precious ebook or as well just from the first page itself. This is done for to facilitate use of Precious by those persons who may not be associated with any school having a valid UDIS but they still want to use Precious maybe with the help of pen and paper. So this booklet will help them, these FAQs will help them in making use of Precious, a screening tool. Then the middle screen shows the cover page of Precious. And the last screen shows the FAQs. FAQs are probable questions or the questions that we keep on receiving via mail. So if we receive question more than 20, 30 times, then we add these questions to FAQs. Okay, so now this screen shows you login, how to login. Once you have created an account, then you can click on the login button, enter the email and the desired password and you'll be able to login. Then if you have not already created an account, then you'll have to register as a new user. Now, how to log in? Once you click the login, you'll, you will be asked to fill the email. You'll, you'll be asked to give the password and then submit. And after logging in, see the middle screen shows you the login screen of a dummy teacher called Asharani who is a special educator. That means now on the screen, the middle mobile shot is showing you that we have logged in as a special educator by the name Asharani. And on this screen itself, on the top right corner, you can see alphabet A and alphabet A. Word mala ka akshar A bhi hai aur English alphabet A bhi hai. If you'll click on this icon, different languages will appear on your screen. We'll show you that screen also. So as a Asha Rani, if I have logged in, the middle screen will come and on the extreme right, you see the settings that what all settings are available in the precious. So that is night mode is there, change password and language you can select. So this is the extreme left shows you the languages. If you click on the icon that I just mentioned, all these languages are available on the Precious and if you click on any languages, say for example Hindi, then your screen will change to Hindi language as shown on the right hand side. 
so how to create an account for that you'll have to click on register as a new user remember after just installing precious and when you'll open it it will ask you either to log in or register as a new user if you'll click on register as a new user the first screen on the left hand side will appear which will say create an account and you'll have to fill in your email id kindly fill the as a teacher you have to fill in the email id that you are using currently because an otp would be sent to this email id and similarly if you are using this as a special educator again you'll have to use the email id that you are using currently because an otp would be sent to your mail id but as a principal if you are creating an account and registering as a new user here you'll have to give the email id that your school has used while registering on the udice portal so click on next as soon as you'll click on next again the middle screen shows you please check your email we have sent a code to your dash mail so the mail which you have filled in on the first screen that will also appear as a message and then a blank box which is asking for you to fill the verification code and the timer 117 is the timer so otp that you will be receiving in your email is valid only for 120 seconds so many times users keep on asking us that we they have not received an otp to avoid such difficulty i'll request all of you if you are trying to create a new account kindly check your spam mail also because many a times your otp gets to your trash or your spam mail box also inbox also so once you receive the otp within 120 seconds you have to fill the otp here the user have already filled the otp and then you have to verify and once you verify then then you'll uh, reach another page that will ask you few essential details and this is part of your registration process so you, the usual details like name gender designation phone number now if you will uh, notice on the extreme left screen gender and designations are in drop down so gender is you'll drop down you'll select gender designation only three designations are acceptable as of now the teacher special educator and the principal so select any one of them and then you will be taken to the next screen if you hit continue and then in the next screen the middle screen the screen is asking you to fill the udis information so just give the udis information click on the check box which says that i declare that the above information is true and then your registration is almost done so udis code would be di displayed and all the related information that the app has fetched from the udis portal would that would be displayed as it is shown on the extreme right hand side okay so now let's see let's assume that a teacher adi garg has logged in so the screen at the extreme left shows you the teacher logged in and this teacher is able to reach this screen because his or her principal has verified this teacher now you can see six action points just below my survey profile update precious ebook about precious and faqs so precious ebook you can down you can access from this page as well as from the the very first page of precious app same is for faq now if this adigar will click on profile then the middle screen shows all the information that is that will appear after clicking on my profile and if you'll click on updates the right screen shows you the about the updates of the precious which version is there and what it is supposed to do okay so now if as a 
teacher i am clicking on about precious i'll be taken to the middle screen and for faq again you are familiar how the faq works so now let's assume that this teacher adi garg clicks on the survey my survey so once you click on my survey the middle screen appear which shows you the class and also gives you the number of students for which the teacher has filled the survey and in case you are up, you are clicking my survey for the first time then you have to start new survey which is at the down of the middle screen you can start new survey there you will be asked to fill in the details the extreme left screen shows all the details that you need to fill in name gender date of birth enrollment number class section father's name mother's name and then this uh, click on the add button and students would be added to the precious app the data would be added now you might be wondering why all these details are required as you and i know once in a class there are many students sharing the same name and date of birth so all these data this data will help us in identifying the uh, students so that is why we are asking for all this data so let's move on so the next screen gives you okay suppose the adi garg has clicked on the class 2 so the next screen shows you students two students for whom this teacher has filled the survey one is ashna one and another is ashna two for ashna one the teacher has saved submitted and reviewed the survey that is why the green dots are appearing for ashna two the teacher has yet to start the survey the detail of ashna is available if you click on the profile you will be able to see the profile of ashna and on the extreme left hand side you can see some statements these are the statements of the part 1 survey i hope this is clear till now now let's move on to the login of special educator again the six action points and let's start with clicking on my survey in the special educator login page as well once you click on my survey you will be able to see all the schools that are with whom you are associated or attached with so these are um, the schools and only one principal has verified asha ji as a special educator and for the next two schools it is appearing need verification then again the survey list will be shown class wise and for that you'll have to click on each school list school name next is let's suppose you have clicked on class 4 then you'll be able to view survey you'll be able to see the profile also when you click on view survey it gives you the detail of the child and it will also give you what all disabilities are observed in part 1 of the screening tool now here the special educator is not supposed to fill the part 1 of the survey that is to be filled by the regular teachers or the content teachers special educator will be able to view what all disabilities are suspected on the basis of part 1 of the survey for chirag the teacher has clicked on four statements and based on these four statements the four disabilities are suspected in chirag so the extreme right screen shows what all disabilities are suspected after part 2 drop down is there you will be able to see them and then as a special educator you have to put in your observation details then there are some start behaviors given in the precious booklet part 2 so as a special educator your duty is to go through the precious part 2 booklet and then you'll have to click on whether you have observed some of the start behaviors or not ha okay so this screen we have covered this we have covered this also we have covered ha this is the school which comes related this is the um 
Om sir would like to add here. <clears throat> here we can find out the school wise consolidated data. So whatever data we have already captured into, into this process app, we can find it out in the consolidated sheet. And it can be downloaded and it, it can be reused for further official purposes. Right. So, um, PowerPoint fir se dikha dijiye. Okay. So, as a principal also, again, the task is almost all the same. Now, in the principal section point, This is it, no? Yes. Okay, there is some flaw in the flow of PPT, but let's assume the principal's login is also almost the same as the special educator's login. This one, yes. Hmm. This one. So this is the principal's login landing page on the extreme left. Then survey list is also there, which the principal is able to see for the whole all of the classes in his or her school and the extreme right. If you click on any particular class, the details of all students would be available. Next one, kar lete hain. Laptop mein kariye. Hmm. Nee, isme kariye. Ah, this one. Then um, again, all the action points are given. Then as a principal, you will be able to verify and um, all that. Next screen par a jaiye. Huh. See. Yes. So here you can see the principal has verified uh, two special educators and the rest need to be verified. And here you are able to see the special educators who have been verified by this principal. Next is um, the school wise consolidated data that the principal has gathered after using the precious and these are some of the other screens of the precious now precious app statistics that we all are tracking at the back end cit and crt team is finding how many total registered user how many users are have created their profiles so this table shows that this may not be visible to you but it is visible with the back end so and this list gives you the state-wise user. So if you are from uh, different states, just see your number. I want to see the increase in numbers as soon as possible. As of now, Andhra Pradesh is topping the charts with 1491 users and Delhi is not far behind with 1088 users. So you'll have to increase your presence on the precious app. And this is... The rating on the Play Store that we have received on Precious. So help us increasing this rating by giving us more reviews. And this is rating and reviews. And then uh, next is the screenshot of the queries that we are receiving. And these are the next one is the important links that these links are available within the precious app also regular statistics ebook download precious and advocacy videos are available at these links the four links are given and today's session link will also be av made available and this is the earlier orientations that we have done on the precious app and the right hand side shows the letter that has been sent from the jo desk of joint, joint director CIT professor Amrendra Behera to all the states and directorates. So this is all about the PowerPoint from our end. This is all about the presentation of pressures from our end. Now I invite the questions and the queries from the participants or from the viewers who are seeing us, who, have, who are connected with us live. So any questions, any queries, any observations, anything that you would like to ask us. We have technical expert also with us. So in case you are having some problems in logging in, some problems in taking the survey or seeking verification from the principal, this is the right time to ask.
कैन टाइप इन द चैट बॉक्स ओम सर वुड यू लाइक टू एड समथिंग कि किस तरह की टेक्निकल क्वेरीज हमारे पास आई हैं पिछले सेशन में भी या इन जनरल we most of the times we follow that the, the queries are coming from the users that we are not able to log in as the principal associated with the udice code i must request check the email id being associated with the udice code so that it can be the principal can be log in properly without any type of problems and second thing is that password password is it should, it should not be weak password like it should be upper case lower case and special characters as well as numeric values the combination of all you can put as a password so that it can consider as a very strong password and it you won't be uh, put any type of troubles and uh, any type of login to the applications on sir do you remember there was a principal in the last session who yes. was asking us that despite giving the proper mail id the principal was not receiving any notification for verification of special teachers and teachers what yes. could be the problem there yeah in that situation the principal was trying for the wrong gmail id associated with the udice code later on he we just to convince them to add the proper what is the mail id associated with the udice code then the problem got solved Okay, so basically, you are trying to say that the principal was using the email ID that he or she is currently using, but not the mail ID that was associated with the U D I S code. So, friends, as a principal, you have to ensure that you you will be using only that email ID which is attached with your U D I S registration, with your school's U D I S registration. if that is not used then you will leave, you will have problems of verifying your teachers and special teachers any other question that might be coming to your mind for example i remember a teacher was insisting that he or she is not able to take the survey because the principal is not verifying him so i believe this is how we, it has answered yes. that um, the email id needs to be correct Yes. So, if we have some questions, technical team can forward the questions to us. G. The screen shows lot of interaction. Okay, how to remove the double entry? Um, It won't accept. First of all, removal of double entry needs to be done at the back end. so for that you'll have to write to precious support desk giving the details that uh, how when what to be what is to be done and what double entry needs to be removed and we'll help you out with that so the second query that i have received is is the app available on iphone app store no, home sir we are just planning to add this iphone app ios so not yet been developed okay as of now the app is available only android. for android phones it's not available for ios next is first teacher has to log in and then principal also needs to log in to verify yes explain kar dijiye thoda ha first teacher has to verify uh, log in and then principal also has to log in this is the query no not like that principal and teacher both should be log in by in parallel but the thing is that the teacher is associated with the school and the school principal as per the udice code then once the teacher is got logged in into this app so it will go to this principal's login principal will get one pop up message and gmail also in parallel so that he can get verified to the teacher or special educator then the teacher teacher or special educator they can go into this um, app and click the survey options they can okay. get the survey options so basically in any order the principal and teacher can log in right the only thing is you have to create an account you have to register both yes. needs to be registered and u dice id needs to be correctly filled the email id should be correct only then the app works smoothly 
and in the meantime we are just planning to provide you some sort of demo ids of this principal and uh, special educators as well as teachers so that you can test it and provide your valuable suggestions so that we can modify it further for better applicability and better usability to the users yes level. and um, all the suggestions all the feedback all the observations are more than welcome because they'll help us in strengthening the end user experience on the precious app remember friends this is one of its kind app and screening tool that caters to all the 21 disability conditions so let me ask one more time do we have another queries technical team so there are no more queries so uh too much time to open okay uh, app is taking too much time to open so if app is taking too much time to open um sir what could be the possible reason yeah might be you just need to uh, update the uh, applications in the play store or you can just if it is the existing application there because of some sort of cache files on some sort of file is memory issue so some sort of issues are there so in that situations you just remove the process app and reinstall it again so all your data associated with the udis code your mail id as well as your name all will be uh, remain same without without any loss you can get, get it uninstalled and reinstall it again okay so basically you have to check in your net connections as yes. well as uninstall and reinstall that so then we also seem to have few more questions there om sir over to you this is related to only special children hmm. yes this application is basically based on this rpwd act and to, we just covering up all these 21 disabilities conditions which are not visible at all for the children so in that situation this is only for special children only not for the general children yeah but i would just like to add on to this because this is a theoretical question and conceptual question so all children may show some behavior issues one time or the other time so it helps us in reaching to a logical conclusion using the part 1 of the precious survey whether the child has some disability issues or not disability related issues or not so there is another question which says if a single teacher is handling the school so there must be some sort of udi code because all these applications total application process staff is based on the udi code only for this security purpose and uh, if a single teacher is handling the school then he must have some sort of udi code he, yes. he can utilize this udi code and smoothly run the application yeah even in a single teacher school then the same teacher will be in dual role as a principal as well as a teacher so both the mail ids the teacher need to access and do the needful and as a special educator you can take help from your primary health um, services or primary health center which is available in the vicinity of the school that person can log in as a special teacher and then help you in getting observation on the part 2 see um for the habitation of the survey the only thing is anybody and everyone can use precious app provided you have a valid udis id right om sir yes so we need to just have a valid udis id we need to have the school registered on the portal and then you'll be able to use it use the app I hope we are able to answer your queries. And friends, this is not the only session that we are having on the uses of Prashast. Tomorrow also at the same time on the same YouTube channel we will be available. I will be available. Om sir would be available, and we would try to get another expert also who will be able to answer your queries. and who will be able to take you through the precious app the way i have taken you today
So now, um, yeah, I mean, um, you have to work for the children of your own school. Because if you are worried, if you will try to enroll children from other schools, then how the special educators will be able to give observations on the part two? Because special educator also need to observe the children. As a special, as a general teacher, you might enroll the children studying in schools other than yours. But the special educator should also be able to observe these children. The choice is yours. How you want to work around pressures because the last thing is as a principal when the principal logs in the school wise consolidated data should travel to the assessment and certification camps if you have enrolled if you have added children who are not from your school then there is a possibility that a confusion may arise at the level of assessment and certification camps or when the data travels from your school to the cluster level to the block level and then to the district level to avoid that confusion it is advisable to work only for the students of your own school We have covered this question. So friends, time to wrap this session. See you tomorrow. Same time. By then, keep experimenting, keep using pressures. Let us help populate data on pressures. And let's improve state's performances, our own state performance on pressures so that the data gives us some happy figures especially for states whose uh, registration is less than 100 also, expecting to see some improvement in the usage of brushes because I have heard that many persons are using brushes with paper and pen instead of working directly on the Android app. So time is to use brushes in the Android app. So happy working with brushes and see you tomorrow. And in case you have some queries, we will be here tomorrow and you can see us live tomorrow and interact with us tomorrow also so thank you om sir yes sir thank you thank you everyone for joining in and making this session so live thank you